Thank you for viewing the hip and lower extremity strength development video. Here we are going to work on the postural position of the hip and lower extremities to improve the kinetic chain. When performing the following exercises, make sure to engage the core the entire time while maintaining a nice neutral lower back position. Each exercise should be done for one minute for a set between one and three. Thank you and please enjoy it. The first exercise will be a side plank with a hip abduction. So here I'm setting myself up for a good postural position. So I don't want to let the hip sink or the head droop. So I'm pushing through the shoulder, raising the hips, aligning the cervical spine so I'm looking straight ahead, and then I'm able to raise the hip up. Make sure that your thighs are in line with your upper torso and there's no angle break of the hips. To make the exercise more challenging, you can go ahead and straighten both legs. You can have the hand on the hip or up in the air or on the floor to make those modifications to make the exercise a little easier. So here is another example of me dropping the hip, try not to let that happen, always constantly push on the lateral side of the leg. The second exercise will be a widespread sumo squat with a lateral squat and central squat in between. As I transition to the lateral squat here, make note of my knee not collapsing in. I'm trying to push it out while maintaining my first toe onto the floor and not rolling to the knife edge of my foot. As I transition to the central squat, make sure that the knees are pushed out, not collapsed in, and also trying to maintain that neutral spine position of the back. And then transition over to the lateral squat, the central squat again, make sure that the knees don't collapse in, always trying to push out, open up your chest, activate your back musculature, and then making your way to the other side. Try not to let the heels come up, and if that happens, don't go as low and just make sure to sit your hips back. Here's the same exercise at a different view. As you can see, I'm still pushing the knee out, pushing my hips back, and not leaning forward and always activating the inner portion of the thigh. So in order to do that, you want to think about dragging your heels towards the center or midline of your body. Once again, don't lean forward. Try to actively contract your hips the entire time. If you're having issues coming forward, try to push your knees out, maintaining that torso nice and upright. The third exercise is a activated bridge to get the hamstrings strengthened. So here I'm squeezing my core, pressing my heels into the foam roller to raise my hips up towards the ceiling, and contracting in and out. If you're looking for a challenge with the exercise, you can then raise one leg up, try not to let the hip drop down, so you're constantly pushing up and then going through the same range of motion. If you're looking for more assistance or a modification to make it easier, you can go ahead and place your hands underneath your hips and go back and forth. If you feel like the foam roller gets in the way or is harder to activate, to press up, you can go ahead and remove the foam roller and just put your feet onto the floor and try to do the same ranges of motion. The fourth exercise is a three-way lunge or squat position. So here I had demonstrated that I want the knee on top of the ankle and in line with the second and third toe. And then I will follow into a pistol squat. So don't let the knee collapse in. If you're having issues with that, you can plant your heel onto the floor to push it out. And then you're going to drop back to a 45 degree angle behind you. Once again, watching the knee, not letting it collapse in. As seen here, always constantly push in. So if you're having issues with that, go ahead and put your toe or heel onto the floor. And the same thing for the back right corner here. When doing this range of motion, sometimes people will rotate their hips. So you're constantly activating your glutes to bring the knee out. If you're having issues with that, go ahead and plant the toe or heel onto the floor to make sure that you work on that stability. The last exercise will be a single leg Romanian deadlift. So I will hinge at the hips while sticking my hips backwards and not letting the hips rotate. So I'm placing my fist there and showing my thumb that my hips are rotating up towards the ceiling. I don't want that. So make sure that you are rotating the hips downwards so that you are squared with the object in front of you and trying to be parallel with the floor. If you're having trouble balancing on a single leg, you can go ahead and place the arm out and put it onto the wall for assistance. Here, I'm demonstrating that I'm pushing the hip back. I should feel that contraction in the high glute to high hamstring area. As I switch over to this next position, I'm showing that the knee can be slightly bent, and then I will hinge forward, sticking my bottom out, not letting the torso rotate seen there, and I want to feel the stretch in the high hamstring, lower glute, pushing the hips back. If you're looking for more of a stretch, if you have the flexibility, you can go ahead and straighten the knee. But for the most part, try to keep it slightly bent and pushing the hip backwards as seen there. 